Hey guys, I hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. We are uh, doing some no CBs to clean up some of the heretics in the HRE. Definitely need to be doing it. And uh, we'll be able to convert this guy here in about two years. So, excited about that finally. Very annoying. <laughs> so all we need to do is have these guys come over here. I'm going to separate piece out these guys and... Um, who else we got in here? Oh, and these guys. And I'm also going to get more cannons here, but the main thing is that my economy can't really afford it. The only reason I have such a high force limit is because of the HRE Emperorship, so it's kind of like, mm, oh, they're getting occupied in another war? Really? No. Bro. Are they annexing them? Well, that's pretty annoying. All right, well, let's hurry up and separate piece out his friends then. Something like that is fine. Not that many people in the war. We'll be able to separate piece on halt out. Yeah, I'll continue to influence him for 12 ducats. That's a, that's a fair trade, I think. All right, cool. So these guys will force religion. You don't have a say in this. You're going to do it. There you go. So that's one more heretic prince resolved. We have nine more. I feel like there's more just popping up. Verden, these guys, Co man, they're all free cities. So Coburg is not a free city. He would call in Hamburg. Co-belligerent Hamburg, that would not call in anybody useful. All right, so I think this is the way that we do that. That will call in Memmingen. Oh, Memmingen and Aachen? Well, absolutely. We just need to keep an eye on our aggressive expansion. That's fine. Boost our stab up again. And uh, buy down our, our war exhaustion. It's important. Alright. Get you guys over here. And we'll have these guys siege down Memigan. This will allow me to convert another two. Both of them are free cities as well, so it's wonderful. Come over here. And uh, nice. That's good. We needed that. Lose a stab. It's fine. Oh, two stab there. Really? Why? Huh? Interesting. Anyways, we do not have an heir, so we cannot be, uh, you know, doing that. It'd be a shame if we lost the Emperorship. Get a general here. Get you guys over on Mem again. Have the rest of you guys up there with him, with a sieged guy. Just give him an extra siege pip if it's possible. Siege down Aachen, hopefully in a couple of ticks here. All I'm doing is I'm just trying to separate piece everybody out for Force Religion. That's, that's really all I'm doing here. Because it also converts the province religion. So it's also converting the provinces back, which is really good for us. Sigismund von Habsburg, huh? Interesting. Yes, I think we're definitely going to be able to uh, pass the next reform now. Where's my army? Right, here they are. Let's get you guys out of there, huh? Ulm. Yeah, it's annoying that uh, they have Ingolstadt occupied. And I can't force peace on him. He forced religion. <laughs> well, that's a uh, best case scenario, honestly. He didn't annex him, and he forced religion on him. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's like literally what I was hoping for. All right, very good. Get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. And let's have you guys force religion. Very good. Give me all your money as well. Or as much, at least as much as you're willing to give me. And there you go. Imperial authority growth is going to keep going up. We just converted three more heretics, or two more. And we have 72 members. Not bad at all, man. And I'm just keeping an eye. One year and three months, and we can start converting this. These guys are at war with who? Conquest of Navarra, huh? Ooh. So I guess the ideal situation would be Sax Savoy is not a lot, not able to. Oh, dude, look at this hug box. You are pathetic, France. Oh my gosh, that is a very, very, very big beefy France. So this war doesn't matter anymore. There's nobody. Oh yeah, Memmingen. Gonna have to peace out Memmingen. 
And then we'll only have how many Heretic Princes? Four? And one of them's ours. So that means we just have these two up here in Coburg. It's pretty good. I guess whatever. Doesn't matter. We're done. Get our cannons over here. Take over the siege. It's disease outbreak that we just had. We've been doing a very delicate balancing act between our uh, another disease outbreak before I could even get those guys off either. Unfortunate. Nope, not losing any crown land. Matter of fact, I can't do it right now. So Memmingen, Force Religion. There you go. Brigands, let's get you guys over here. You guys are, you know, I don't need anything from you, so I'll just do that. Ingolstadt, all I need is to peace out Augsburg. Basically, I want them to all have nice long truces. That way they won't join a coalition if they have the ability to. That's kind of the, the main thing. So Brigands, same thing. When's my truce up with these guys? 42, so we got some time left. Yeah, I imagine that... Hmm. Attitude towards enemies is pretty bad, honestly. Ooh. Well, let's see if we can get him flip to friendly. So he's not willing to join. If he's not willing to join, that war with France becomes much easier. Because he's got 30, you know, 23,000 men and... Ideally, I don't have to fight them. Oh my gosh, I got a disease. I had a 92% chance of winning and a 7% of a disease outbreak. And I get the disease outbreak. Nice. Yes, please. So let's turn around and uh, get him over here leading the, leading the charge here. Again, I don't care about the stab. I don't care hardly at all, honestly. When the Siege of Brigands, very good. Again, biggest truce possible. There you go. Hopefully they don't get uh, annexed in this war. You guys, same thing. Biggest truce possible, because I don't care. All right. Truce with Tuscany is over, but he's hugboxed in there with France. Venice would not join him. If I were to attack him, Genoa, Styria? Hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a lot of men they have there. But, um... I reckon if I were to Doomstack, the issue is definitely Castile, man. Castile ate half of Portugal. Because I want him to release... Um... Ooh, we could have him release P Picardy as well as Burgundy. As well as, like, Orléans or Champagne. Nevers? Oh, my gosh. Hmm... Because if we use Imperial Ban, we'll be able to do that. We'll be able to have him release as many as we want. So you have to keep that in mind. Let's pick the uh, the last one. We are entirely harsh, and that means we hate heretics. Look at this. Opinion of heretics, minus eight. We want full harsh. Feels good, man. Um, okay. So let's see here. If We have to take his capital if we want to expand the empire with him. So that's probably not reasonable. Truce with Venice is not up until 38. Just trying to make the best of our time here. Heretic Princes, these guys up here. Oh man, I guarantee you they're going to do it as well, aren't they? These guys are allied to each other, so that's actually fine. I'm actually okay if he annexes him and, I, and he declines the... Uh, if he were to decline it. Let's also get a couple more cannons here. Get like 10 more. Well, as we can afford it, of course. Go ahead and annex him. Make my day, punk. I guess I'll take a loan out, whatever. Go ahead. Annex him. And now I'm losing four ducats a month. There you go. So he annexed him. Let's uh, demand an unlawful territory. You're going to release Rostock. And then I'm going to demand another one. He's going to say, wait a minute, I just gave you one. And uh, I'm going to say, no deal. 
I'm going to push through this. The extra discipline is going to be good. Plus lane leader fire is good. And I'm going to say no deal. And we are going to... What? No. Oh my gosh, stop. Troll. You troll lazy diplomat. Wasting my time. There we go. We're going to declare war on him. I have a truce with him till when? Oh, crap. Well, crush the peasantry. Well, that's fine with me. I got a free CB on him, so let's do that. And get you guys up here. Something like that. Just siege them all down. We'll have him release a couple of tags and uh, make them convert. Do the best that we can, at least. Because they're not going to do anything. They'll do nothing. I can definitely just speed five this war. They got onto his capital. Very good. Let's siege him down with our cannons here. We've won the Siege of Lubeck. Lubeck, you will be forced religion, and you will release Sex Lombard. Pay a little bit of Diplo. I don't care. Also, return that there. There you go. How's that feel, idiot? That's what you get when you mess with the bull. You get the horns. You guys understand that, right? So you guys are going to force religion. You guys are going to release Verden. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Issue is that these guys are both the wrong religion now. Um, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. I first converted two people only to release vassals that were the wrong religion. And uh, I can convert this, so let's do that. Ten months? Yes, please. Can I speed it up at all? I can. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Let's actually see here. Can I convert other stuff from him? I can. Well, let's convert... Um... Yeah, okay. He's got... This is fine, actually. I'll convert as much as I possibly can. The most important one is this religious center. Let's also turn my army maintenance down. Let's see what's going on here. England is at war with Castile, France, and Aragon. So this is actually good because that means that Castile has probably got his armies overseas. What? Yeah, he probably has like a ton of men overseas. Let's let my war exhaustion tick down a bit. I don't need you there. Venice would not join. When's my truce with you up? 38. I think I actually wait on that because we're going to be able to push through the next reform. Sweden disputed succession, huh? Castile disputed succession. He's my rival. Hey, Sweden. Want to marry me, bro? Marry me, bro. Uh, any else useful? Not really. Just Castile. Brabant's an OPM, so I don't care about them. Most of them are just people that I'm releasing anyway, so it's fine. I don't really want to PU anybody that's in the HRE. Tuscany would not join, which would be useful. Ideally, oh yes. This is the part that I'm excited about. <laughs> as soon as Castile won't join because of debt, we attack. That's the, that's the instantaneous plan. Continue to convert everybody, of course. And uh, the Reformation is gone. That's it. The Reformation is completely gone. Wait a minute. This Protestant, this Catholic, Catholic. So, I mean, you know. He'll have less rebels if I convert all this for him, so it doesn't matter. Hey, how about it? Well, that's not bad at all. Um, except for the fact that I don't have an heir, but he's young, and he's actually pretty good. The babbling buffoon is not super helpful, but that's okay. Let us make sure everybody is topped off with me. I will bestow Imperial Grace on any of the electors that I can. Cool. Now, uh, let's click this button here. That will give us the perpetual diet of Augsburg from the present day. Henceforth, the Imperial Diet shall shit in the shall, shall, shall sit. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Shall sit in the continuous session in the city of Augsburg, rather than 
one on an ad hoc basis as previously. This step will surely increase the cohesion of the Empire and help formalize the relationship between Emperor and the Princess. On the other hand, it also makes Augsburg a prime target for those wishing to do harm to the Empire. So, uh, Augsburg is now the Perpetual Diet, which gives them local dev costs and prestige. That's fine. Let's take a sip of my coffee here. If the city were to come under the control of an enemy of the Empire, serious blow to the Emperor's authority. So, we're now making point two. And then if we click this button here, we're making point two nine. That's pretty good. Now, now that we have the perpetual diet, we can go down the centralization or we can go down here and get to uh, internal peace. I'm not really too sure which one is best here. So we need to get some royal marriages going so we can try to get get a dude get a get an heir so styria three leagues bosnia holstein hamburg none of them are particularly useful let's just hold on there castile's debt has not grown grown yet did i get an heir i did nice Willem. not bad and I can also do one of these. Uh, I guess I'll just try to get involved there. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me that discipline. We also get Diplo Rep is fine. Missionary Strength versus Heretics is good. Is it better than this one? Religious Unity, Missionary Strength versus Heretics, Missionary Strength overall. Well, we're going to only be converting Heretics, so that makes sense. So that's fine. Now... I'm really just sitting here waiting for his war exhaustion to go up a bit more. Or not war exhaustion, his uh, debt still has not gone up, yo, though. I suppose we'll just wait and we'll put Venice into the Empire next then. It's fine with me. Savoy just absolutely ripping through these people. So this would be a good opportunity to get to war with France. But I would rather attack him directly. Yeah, I guess we just wait. Yeah, I guess we just wait. This is fine. Truce with these guys is up in August. So basically, I'm just converting him to help him out uh, with unrest. And I think we're going to rush through to try to get um, this one here. Make the HRE inherited by the same country. Which gives us religious peace. That will allow us to convert. Our master recruiter is dead. Sadly. I'll just go with the land maintenance. I don't care. These guys are uh, now going to be brought into the fold of the empire. So let's get down there. When's our truce up with these guys? Not for a while. Yeah, getting these guys in the HRE is also going to be good for us. Yeah, it's us versus Venice and the Knights. So, sadly, I actually need to take his uh, his capital in order to... Um... Oh, come on now. I actually need to get his capital so I won't get ticking war score. That might be a problem. Seventy, yeah, oh yeah. Looks like this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so I guess I'll just take some money. That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to see just capital down. So let's go back over here. Steel is still in debt, but not any worse than it already was. Carlos the first, hey. If only it's a day trust tomorrow. Hamburg, just full annex that dude. So that's not cool. Uh, let's release him in. S that's annoying. Lundberg also annexed a province here. So let's attack him. He's allied to Coburg. Perfect. 
So I'll be able to co convert Coburg. I have a truce with him until when? 42? Goodness gracious. Well, that's not ideal. We don't have a truce with him, though. Who else is Coburg allied to? Munich and Hamburg. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, attacking France is our best way forward. The fact that Castile's debt has not gone up is a little annoying. Savoy would help him now because he pieced out of his war. Hmm. I suppose I could bring these guys over here. I think we're going to do it. I think we just need to Leroy it. Hmm. There's only three heretic princes now because one of them got annexed. Giveth and taketh away, right? So, let's get a general here. Oh my gosh, yes please. I say we do it. Go for Dijonet. Tuscany's gonna join now. You bastards. We're severely outnumbered and they have much more manpower than I do. Let's do it. Moravia, yeah, I'll Royal Mary. Sounds good, bro. Hopefully we can get Miltech as well before, you know, because he's got a Miltech advantage on me, I assume. No, he does not. All right. What's his idea groups? He has offensive as well. Exploration. The violence between peasantry. Ooh. The Imperial Authority and uh, members get to crush the peasantry CB for the rest of the game. Well, of course we want that one. Anything that gives me more Imperial Authority, I want it, right? So let's do something like this here. Really? They're attacking me here. I'm gonna reinforce. They have better morale. We have the discipline. Let's um, switch to a morale guy. That will help us out a bit. But it looks like... Oh my gosh, their dogpiling is nutty. Alright, let's just... Flee over here. Luckily for us, we have really good manpower gain. Um, I'll wait till next month and take it 10% cheaper. Oh, did not mean to fight these rebels. That's fine. And I will take this here. That's fine. So the question is, is do I risk this fight here? I think so. Shift consolidate, so we have his max. And then, so they're going to take a minus one here. Even if I lose, they're taking a minus two now. So even if I lose, they're still taking very, very heavy losses. Oh my gosh, yeah, they took double my losses. That's totally a worth worthwhile loss there. What? Really? A supply shortage, you say? Interesting. My manpower go great gain is fine. We'll be able to piece out all these boys eventually. Spread them out here. Get a couple of months to repair. I mean, this is fine because most of my forts are defensive. So it's like if they attack me... This is definitely just going to be an attrition war. Like, I'll come down here. Hello? What? Yeah, right, Savoy. What? Why is... I should definitely have access. Ah, right. These guys are not in the HRE. For reasons. So let's... Let's influence them, I suppose. They should join the HRE on their own. I don't know why they're not willing to. Definitely should be. It's basically free to influence him. Uh, 13 ducats. Recall you. I'm just letting my men reinforce a bit. No big deal. Let's go indebted to the burgers. That way I don't have to pay as much interest. On my loans. Only 1%. So much cheaper for me. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with this as well. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just click this button here. And then, can I excommunicate him? 
No, Pope Man loves him, sadly. Let's take a look here. Can I excommunicate anybody? Useful? A couple of random people in the HRE, but none of them are particularly useful for me. Uh, let's go with a... Wow. Can I call for a crusade on anybody that's like not the Ottomans? No, it's mostly just the Ottomans. That's fine. I'll call for a crusade on them. And then, uh, more power to the nobility? Sure, man. I still have a decent bit of land to them, so that's fine with me. All right, lads. I think that's a good place to call it. This is going to be a big war. It's going to be a bit of a slog. It's probably going to be the entirety of the next episode. So if you guys are excited, do make sure that you let me know. Show your support by leaving a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, if you want to check us out, we do have a Patreon. That is a great way to support what we do. It's going to be linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I would like to give a big special thanks to my top supporters for the month of April. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Bloodbound, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Sprocket, Ian, M. Dressel, Thar, Blonde Damon, Gabriel Court, Corbett, Chankopotamus, T. Jarden, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Hey Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate you guys very much.